Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will learn how to convert a decimal into a fraction. There are some decimal to fraction conversions that it's best for you to have memorized. These charts contain some of the decimals you'll come across most often in your problems, especially those problems that contain both fractions and decimals. So having some of these memorized will save you time. Let's take a look at how to change a decimal to a fraction in our examples. So the first example I have for you is 6 tenths. And while I did have it in the chart of the decimals I suggested that you memorize the conversions for, let's talk about how you would calculate this. So we have the 6, and the 6 is in the tenths place. So when I'm turning 6 tenths into a fraction, because the 6 is in the tenths place, the denominator of my fraction is going to be 10. Then I have 6. So the 6 is going to become my numerator. So the 6 is in the tenths place, that's the denominator, the 6 will become your numerator. So 6 tenths as a fraction is 6 tenths. You notice it's exactly how it sounds. Well, our 6 tenths, however, can be simplified. And if your fraction can be simplified, you want to do that. So 6 and 10 share a common factor of 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 6 tenths is equal to three-fifths. So the next example that I have is 45 hundredths, and 45 hundredths was not in the chart. So this is a decimal that if you got it, you would have to calculate to change this decimal into a fraction. Well, I'm going to start by looking at the final place here where my decimal is, and the five is in the hundredths place, which means that the denominator of your fraction is going to need to be 100. So you have 45 hundredths, so the denominator needs to be hundredths. Then you have 45 hundredths, so the 45 is your numerator. And just like with the last example, if we need to simplify, then you need to go ahead and do that. So 45 and 100 share a common factor of 5. So I can divide my numerator and denominator both by 5. So I'll have 45 divided by 5, which is 9, and 100 divided by 5, which is 20. And then of course, just like with simplifying fractions, you need to make sure, can it be simplified again? Well, 9 and 20 don't share any more common factors, so 9 20ths is going to be your final answer. So 45 hundredths is equal to 9 twentieths. So our second example is 62 hundredths. That final digit is in the hundredths place. So our denominator is going to be 100. And then we have 62. So the 62 will be our numerator. So 62 hundredths. Again, just like it sounds, the decimal was 62 hundredths. Your fraction is 62 hundredths. But your 62 hundredths does share some common factors. It at least shares a common factor of 2. So you do need to simplify it. 62 divided by 2 is 31. And 100 divided by 2 is 50. So 62 hundredths is equal to 31 fiftieths. And then we have one final example here, 71 hundredths. The 1 is in the hundredths place, so your denominator is 100. And you have 71 hundredths. Again, just like it sounds, so the 71 is going to be our numerator, and we need to look and see if we can simplify this. Well, 71 and 100 don't share any common factors, so 71 hundredths is equal to 71 hundredths. For the next example, we have 383 thousandths, and even though our decimals may be getting longer, we're still going to take the same steps. I'm going to start by looking at where the final digit is. What place is it? Well, that final digit in 383 thousandths, that last three is in the thousandths place, which means your denominator is going to be 1,000. And just like our other examples, we have 383 thousandths. So the 383 
is going to be your numerator. So 383 thousandths is equal to 383 thousandths, again, just like it sounds, but you do need to think about, can you simplify? Do 383 and 1,000 share any common factors? And in this case, they don't, so 383 thousandths is equal to 383 thousandths. The second example we have here is 125 thousandths, and we're going to do the same steps. That final digit is in the thousandths place, so our denominator is going to be 1,000. And we have 125 thousandths, which means our numerator is going to be 125. And we need to think about, can we simplify 125 thousandths? And we can. They do share a common factor. They at least share a common factor of 25. So let's start with 25. We'll need to divide our numerator by 25 and our denominator by 25 to simplify. So 125 divided by 25 is 5. And 1,000 divided by 25 is 40. Now I have 5 40ths, and 5 and 40 share a common factor, so I have to continue my simplifying steps. I'm going to divide my numerator and denominator both by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 40 divided by 5 is 8. So 125 thousandths is equal to 1 8. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.